Welcome back. The time now is 840. Jennifer Lasseter is here from NetHealth this morning to talk to us about a very helpful program available for East Texas families. Thank you so much for stopping by oh, here this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about the WIC program. What is that? Um, so WIC stands for Women, Infants, and Children. Um, we also like to see dads in our office too with their families. Um, and we give food benefits. Um, families get a WIC card with healthy foods for their family. Also nutrition information and support along with breastfeeding support as well. So who qualifies for getting these benefits from you guys? So actually um, our TexasWIC.org site, um, families can go on and apply and also check to see if they may qualify based on their income. A lot of families who may not qualify for other programs may still qualify for WIC. So sometimes we have families who are surprised that they qualify and are excited to get um, the WIC benefits and get those healthy foods that are probably already on their shopping list anyway. For sure. You yeah. know, this time of year, you're pretty busy, right? Oh, yeah. All the yeah. holidays and everything. Why should people make sure that they visit a WIC office this month? Well, you know, um, it is a, it's a busy month, lots of expenses. Um, you know, the little ones are probably home over the holidays. So um, great time to come into WIC and make sure and get um, those food benefits loaded to your WIC card or to apply for the first time. Um, you know, it may not seem like a huge expense to some families, but, you know, in some cases, you know, per child, it's about $40 or so that you could, you know, save and put towards something else for the month. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's really helpful, especially in months that, you know, where families have a lot of expenses. It sounds like it's super helpful. Yeah. So how does this make grocery shopping easier for East Texas families? Well, um, um, you know, not only do we provide items that may already be on your grocery list, also um, we now have a WIC app that's really, really helpful. It's called My Texas WIC, and it's a little pink logo um, if you're looking in the app store. And um, families can actually look for foods in their specific store where they're shopping to see which are the WIC approved foods. The app also keeps up with which foods are on their card and which foods have already been purchased for the month. So it's really helpful. Um, it can even scan items to check to see if they're WIC approved. I'm sure lots of people have seen the pink, the pink WIC stickers in the store, but mm -hmm. you know, sometimes items get moved and shifted on the shelf. So this app is really cool because it just, it helps families, you know, make that process a little bit easier. Yeah. And I've seen those WIC vans around town. Where exactly yeah. in East Texas do those go? Yeah. So, um, the teal colored WIC, um, mobile units, um, we do have staff who set up sometimes at our local grocery stores. Um, sometimes they'll set up a, a route to kind of be in some of the more rural areas areas. So, you know, if you're outside of the Tyler area or outside in some more rural locations, um, you know, the WIC mobile unit may be able to come to you or maybe at a grocery store near you. So, um, you know, check our website. Our Facebook pages um, will list where the mobile unit is going each week or each month. Um, so that can be super helpful. If viewers at home are interested in taking advantage of this, where can they find more information? So TexasWIC.org is a great site to apply or check your eligibility. Um, also, you can feel free to call our office if you have any questions, 903-593-8331. Um, but TexasWIC.org is great, has classes, recipes, all kinds of information about WIC. All right, Jennifer, thank you so much for stopping by this thank morning. Thank you. Thanks for having me.